So in the last uh, recorded uh, session, we have uh, uh, seen about the manufacturing uh, uh, manufacturing of the life cycle of a device. So that is the first phase we have seen about the designing. The next is about manufacturing. So and in our manufacturing, we have seen the some of the different aspects which are to be taken care and uh, we have seen what are the ROHS related elements which will harm the environment. We will see the same thing in detail and uh, it is given as a table here. So in this table, uh, the different chemicals are listed here that is lead, cadmium, mercury and then PBDE, PBB and arsenic and polyvinyl chloride. So these are the different chemicals which are used in manufacturing the device and where it is used at the time of manufacturing means lead is used in circuits, motherboard and glass monitors. So uh, it will affect on humans, on nerve system, so, and then even the hematopoietic system and kidneys, it will affect these things. Uh, principal chamber a little The cadmium is used in uh, for low temperature soldering, plating for corrosion, protection and it uh, acts as colorant in uh, plastic and contact buttons in relays. So it affects the liver and kidneys. So, and then the next chemical is about mercury. So it is used in uh, monitor manufacturing and batteries. It affects the immune system, alters generic and enzyme system and damage the nerve system. So next is about PBDE. So it is used as a flame retardant. So usually whenever we are having the ethernet cables, so those ethernet cables is having different layers. So and those layers, um, <coughs> they are um, bounded with this flame retardant substances. So and, uh, of all the different chemicals which we are using, this is very extremely toxic. The next is about arsenic. So it is uh, uh, used in manufacturing of semiconductors. It affects cellular longevity. So polyvinyl fluoride, so it, uh, it is used in manufacture of the different parts of computer. So it causes cancer. Okay, so that is the carcinogen and also has effect on the human reproductive system. So uh, this is how it will affect the human. So these are the different uh, chemicals which we are using at the time of manufacturing of the electronic devices. The same thing is explained in detail in this paragraph. So if you want, you can go through this in detail. The next is about Packaging and transportation. The packaging and transportation also contributes to the carbon footprints of the device's life cycle. So the two main contributors in this segment are the materials used for packaging and the, car and the carbon footprints of the vehicles used in the transportation. So that is in order to make the device green, so we have to take care of its uh, carbon footprints both at the time of packaging as well as at the time of transportation. Since the material used in packaging a device has an effect on the device's carbon footprints, the number of materials used for packaging needs to be kept at minimum. So that is at the time of uh, packaging we should avoid thermocol and uh, we should have to use the packaging uh, in such a way that it should be um, hardboard, foldable hardboard uh, finishing should be there in a package so in order to make it green. Okay, uh, the next is the, the size of the device has an effect on the amount of packaging required. So even during the design stage, effort must be made to make the device as compact as possible. 
eco-friendly material like recycled papers, potato scratches, sorry, potato starch and recycled board can be used as a packaging material and soy ink can be used for printing. Okay, so and what this soy ink means, uh, these are the ink which are used uh, for uh, printing on the curtains that is uh, whenever uh, we are doing packaging uh, on the like it can be a mobile cover or it can be the TV monitor uh, uh, box or uh, some other box. So if we print it using so ink which is the uh, natural ink which is generated from the vegetable. Um, these ink are harmless to the human beings as well as to the environment. So the care should be taken uh, in such a way that while uh, using printing on these materials we use sew ink. So the following general recommendations for designing suitable packaging are uh, required. So some of them are listed here. Packaging material should be recycled. So that is the main thing. So and then the amount of packaging material should be kept at minimum. The material used in packaging should be easily separable to ease the recycling process. Adhesive should be reduced by fold and taps instead. So because of uh, uh, these things, we can make the packaging green. So along with that, uh, we are having some more points. All the additives coating and ink that get added to the packet should be eco friendly. So uh, if it is eco friendly uh, automatically it will minimize the effect on the environment. Printed documents can be avoided whenever possible. Instead documents could be provided through the devices web page. Okay, so uh, means e-paper should be used instead of hard copies. Uh, the hard copies can be given only whenever it is very much necessary. In addition, freight transportation lead to lot of carbon e emission. Along with making the transportation system efficient, the device, the design of the device should facilitate smarter transportation. For example, the smaller the device, the more of them can be transported in a given space. Thus, reducing the number of vehicles required to transport them from manufacturing facility to the distribution centers. So, uh, different technologies can be used to reduce the transportation. Okay. So, these days uh, uh, you can see that with the uh, invent of uh, the machine learning and uh, deep learning uh, technologies of CS. So even the transportation uh, are done efficiently. It means uh, if you are ordering from a very far end, uh, for example, if we are ordering online on uh, a particular uh, shopping site, it can be the Flipkart, it can be on the Amazon or uh, wherever. Okay, uh, if you are ordering something on those website, and if that particular product is available in a local market, so those who have already the member of Amazon from the local market, so the what the Amazon will do means it will check whether the ordered product is available at the local market. So if it is available at the local market, then it will send to your address from that local market. So it will reduce the transportation uh, as well as it will reduce the carbon footprints. In that way, we are reducing the carbon emission. So these are the different ways in which we can minimize the effect of transportation on the environment. So and that is about the packaging and the transportation.